Welcome to Fawzi Deer Reviews. They say there's a very fine line between genius and crazy, and I don't think anyone walks that line quite so deftly as fellow lefty guitarist Elliot Easton. Easton's chops brought his band The Cars to the world stage, but the dude is definitely eccentric. He kind of looks like a rock star, and at the same time, he kind of looks like my grandmother. He's a huge rock and roll fan, and a big fan of my nanny as well. I think that's pretty cool. As a lefty, I spend a lot of time cruising eBay. Not a week goes by without a new experimental guitar made for Elliot Easton going up for auction. And they're never run-of-the-mill instruments either. They're always weird, with art school meets Frankenstein's monster looks, and usually loaded with extensive electronic wizardry. This guy must have thousands of one-off guitars in his collection. When Gibson announced the Elliot Easton Tiki Bird, that got my attention right away. I think Mr. Easton and I share a belief that versatility is important for stage acts, and his signature Gibson Firebird Tiki Bird is a perfect example of his values of versatility and eccentricity. One could argue that, in some ways, the Tiki Bird comes down on the far side of the genius crazy line. Let's get this out of the way. This guitar is massive. Whenever I play it live, I'm constantly worried that I'm going to smash my friend Ray in the face with the headstock. It has a through-neck design with glued-on mahogany wings. The pickups are Gibson Classic 57s and have a much fatter tone than the standard Firebird Mini Humbuckers. You can split them to single coil and put them out of phase using toggles on the pickguard. That adds a lot of versatility. The bridge saddles are nylon for some reason, and thankfully there's a Vibramade string guide to make the bigs be a little more tolerable. I'd probably change out the saddles to increase sustain, but I don't want to mess with this guitar. It's pretty rare, and it sounds pretty good as it is. The color is called Polymyth Gold, and Gibson characterizes it as resplendent. I think it looks like my parents' refrigerator from when I was a kid. If I was naming it, I'd call it Shiny Avocado, and that's why they won't let me work in marketing. Enjoy the rest of the demo, and remember to subscribe to our channel. Today I'm playing through the clean channel of a JCM 900, one of the lesser loved Marshalls. This amp was modified by my buddy Al at Fluid Audio Group. I don't know what he did to it, but ever since Al worked his magic, this thing's been a ball-achingly good tone monster. The amp is running through a 1960 412 lead cab with G1275 speakers. If I were Elliot Easton, I'd probably turn on every effect on my pedal board and magically deliver an amazing sound. But for today, I'll probably keep it limited to the timeline delay and Mobius tremolo.